Okay, the F1 team principles really did just go. You think the driver market silly season was mad? Watch this! Before proceeding to play musical chairs in a bid to try and one-up the F1 driver market silly season we saw earlier this year, which was already mad. I think we all remember that. But let's speak about this whole team principles silly season, as I'll call it. That's been transpiring over, well, it transpired over the matter of about 15 hours. So it was finally officially announced and confirmed on Tuesday morning Fred Vassour will be leaving Sauber Group and Alfa Romeo as CEO and team principal and will be joining Marinello at replacing Mattia Benasso. The thing we all kept was going to happen and is honestly surprising to absolutely nobody except for those who may have been living under a rock. I've already spoken about all this in a video back when this is all being rumoured, linked up in the corner. But I am happy that Fred got the role. And as I said in my video on this topic, all I'll say is, first off, remember what happened the last time Ferrari had a French team principal? But that is not the news that kicked this whole thing off this week. That came on Monday night in the shock twist of events that Jos Capito is leaving Williams. I can't say I saw that one coming, lads. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you on that one. I really did not see it coming. Nor can I say I saw the twist coming that Andrea Seidel is leaving McLaren to go replace Fred Vasseur as the CEO of Sauber Group. The twists keep on coming. Then replacing Andreas Seidel at McLaren as team principal is Andreas Stella. Can't say I know who he is, can't say I've heard of him before, but more power to him, hopefully he does a good job and hopefully he can lead McLaren back to winning ways because god damn it, I want to see him Ferrari McLaren battle for the championship again. Cheeky plug, but you'll want to stick around and see the next few episodes of my team by the way. I have like three video, three episodes I need to commentate. There's drama, there's twists in the championship. There's a shock winner. Um, I'll leave you to try to try and take a guess at who that is. Um, and then you'll see when that when that particular episode comes out. Please subscribe if you haven't already to stick around for to, to see how the rest of my my team unfolds and see any other F1 videos I do on driver career videos like this or anything else I'm screwing around with on the F1 game. Now, having a management upheaval, it cannot be the most ideal thing heading into a new season. Especially when it's like, oh, the second year of new regulation. Maybe, okay, maybe even less ideal heading into new regulation, but you get my point. But how smooth or how rocky things are in the transition, it really just does depend on how that transition goes. A Ferrari, things seem fairly calm despite the management upheaval, something that Charles Leclerc commented on when asked about at the recent FIA gala. On the progress of the 2023 car and on whether the transition will hurt them next year or not, he commented, I am confident because we're doing quite a lot of work with the simulator. We've been working extremely hard in the past year to try and understand what were the weaknesses of this car in order to get better for next year's car. Obviously, there's also Mattia who's still at the factory at the moment working and trying to help the team get ready for 2023. And again, I believe that if the transition is done in the right way, we shouldn't suffer too much. Word, I won't go into details because I can't say I really understand it, um, but word is that the, the reliability issues are fixed for Ferrari on the engine. All I really understand is I think it was something with a spark plug. If someone understands that more, please let me know in the comments, but that's not the topic of today's video. It's about team principles. And honestly, Charles has a point. If the transition between Mattia and Fred is done in the right way, then it really shouldn't hurt the team too much if the transition is smooth enough. And, you know, if the transition with, with uh, Simone Resta, again, probably pronounced that wrong, coming back into the team, as I heard he could be coming back to the new technical director, uh, don't exactly quote me on that, but that's what I heard on Twitter, then... Honestly, if those transitions are done in the right way and any other management or team transitions that are done within Ferrari are done right, then they shouldn't suffer too much. And the same thing can be said for Alfa Romeo, for McLaren, for Williams. If the transitions are done in the right way, then the team really should not suffer all that much. But only time will tell if Frederick Vasseur is the right man to lead Ferrari back to championship success. He does have a good history and has good, good success with Art Grand Prix uh, for many years. Um, he has been good with Alfa Romeo, and as I said in my last video, you know, he has a good relationship with Charles, who many, myself included, no offense, Carlos, 
see, kind of see as Ferrari's de facto number one driver and the driver to bring the championship, the driver of the championship, back to Maranello. But to recap on all the moves, Jos Capito is leaving Williams. His replacement is unknown. Frederick Vasseur is leaving Alfa Romeo Sauber and is joining Ferrari replacing Mattia Binotto as team principal. Andrea Seidel is leaving McLaren and is replacing Frederick Vasseur as CEO of Sauber Group. Andrea Stella is becoming the new team principal of McLaren, and we have no idea who's going to be the new team principal of Alfa Romeo. Who's going to replace Yost at Williams, and who's going to be the team principal at Alfa Romeo? Could Yost be an option for Alfa Romeo? Honestly, I think yes, he could be, but we'll just have to wait and see what uh, what the team decide on that one. Whether he'll still be, pardon me, in F1, or... Who knows what's gonna happen there? What do you think? Who do you think is gonna be the team principals down at Williams and Alfa Romeo? Let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new, drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.